Good morning and welcome to the week in my life. I went for a run. I do it every day for the whole month of October because I'm doing like this challenge. You're gonna see it in probably the next video, I think. Now I'm done with my run. I'm gonna go home and do like a little exercise as well that I do. And then I go on with my day and I have to do a good amount of stuff like for university and edit videos and blah, 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 blah. My favorite part of the day is now is doing this. Okay, change of plans because I have unexpected like the whole apartment to myself. The boys are gone. So I think I'm gonna film at least one video because it is a bit difficult to film since I live with people and I mean I don't tell them I do this. Kind of shy. Now that I have the place to myself, I wanna use it. But I'm in a little bit of a time rush because now I'm gonna eat breakfast and I have to leave the house I think at like 1.15 and now I think it's quarter to 11 or something. I'm gonna make the most out of these more or less two hours. And then I'll run to class. I have the whole afternoon of classes. And the thing is, I just really have a lot of things to do this week. I have to finish three or four group projects. I have to make like a birthday video for my dad because he's celebrating it I think the upcoming weekend in the Czech Republic which is really sad because I'm not gonna be there and it's gonna be party of the century to be honest I'm sorry I'm playing with my hair so much but it's just because now that I do runs every morning I have to wash my hair more often and make it work because I don't want to wash it too often it's a whole thing so I don't know I just feel a little time constrained this is literally my go-to breakfast just white yogurt with some kind of fruit usually I try to put on put in some seeds like chia seeds and then random stuff like honey if i want cinnamon and cereal this is it i am a mixing person so it doesn't look aesthetic mm, but it tastes good and that's what's important finished filming and I just remembered because I got a newsletter from the university because it's Monday that there's this like health week this week and I think they do a bunch of like events and random stuff I don't know and I wanted to pick something but then I forgot so maybe today in class I can check it and see if I can find anything interesting that I would like to participate in and that would match with my schedule I think they're handing out fruit maybe on Wednesday or something I don't know I'll see and I'm gonna go eat lunch I think and pack my stuff for school and get on my way this is my lunch and per usual I'm the first one in class I need to charge my stuff though that's why I always come early I can grab the spot with the plugs you know So last time I didn't bring my umbrella and now I'm gonna get drenched again, yay, in the middle of classes. I mean, it's not that bad this time, I think. Well, at least not like this second. a place for the plug. Okay. 
some Gilmore Girls and banana pancakes. Good. Very, very good. Mm. Mm. Could do a nice photo. What photo should I pop in? What for, of what? For the confusion, just to have a photo. <laughs> I don't know. I'll feel inspired later. I'm honestly so lazy today. I don't feel like doing anything. I'm kind of tired. I think it's the weather because it was like 25 degrees here up until now. Like beautiful, perfect and all of a sudden it got rainy and kind of cold which I don't mind because it's kind of like the autumn weather but I think that's why my motivation is kind of down you know. My friend is telling me to just you know spend the day in the bed, watch series, like do nothing because I don't have classes today but I'm like I can't. I feel like I have too much to do. I think now I'm gonna finish editing one video and then I also have to prepare the thing for my dad's birthday and film one like short video for my class for presentation on friday because i'm not gonna be in class on friday and you'll see why maybe i can watch something later in the afternoon or something i don't know but the thing is for me i can't really just like sit and watch something unless there's like a reason for it like you know doing a movie night with a friend or something i don't know like <sighs> It's okay though, maybe I can start a new book. I haven't started a new book since I finished Hello Beautiful because I thought that I have like a project for school due soon, like in two weeks and I have to read a book for it. But today I was talking to my classmate and she said that it's probably like the final project. So if that's true, I'm gonna email the professor about that. And if that's true, that's amazing because I can start a new book, like, you know, my own book that I wanna read. And I just wanted to read the one for school and then, you know, pick up a different one for myself because I, I can't really read two books at a time. Now I'm gonna edit the video and we'll see how today goes, honestly. <laughs> just made dinner because I really didn't feel like eating lunch much. Wait, I have to get the clips to use for my friend's stuff so nothing else falls down there. You can see, so I'm gonna eat now. You know what, I said I was gonna finish editing the video and instead I bought two more concert tickets. <laughs> But I'm so excited because they were cheap, honestly. Like, I was looking through... No, it literally just started raining again. Are you kidding me? No way. But it's like this very light... You can't even see it. Come on. I just hung it all up. You know, I was um, looking through, like, all the concert tickets that are offered here in Madrid. Wait, my hand hurts. So I just found... Like, I looked through all the concerts. And then I was looking for the people, even though I didn't know them like on the first glance. Because I don't know, I just really fell in love with like smaller concerts lately where it's like a small venue, not that known artist because I don't know, it's more like intimate and like you don't have to wait five hours like we did for like the Five Seconds of Summer concert to be somewhere to actually see them. I started doing that lately and I bought one for Sam Tompkins, which I actually do know him. I know the song Lose It All from him and I'm obsessed. I love it. It was 26 euros plus two was like the fee of the venue or something. And then the second one is a Spanish band or like duo. And I can't remember now what they're called because I didn't know them before actually. But then I checked them out on Spotify and I really like their music. And it was only 18 euros plus again 180 or 90 for the fee. So those were super cheap tickets and I was like, I really want to go like i love concerts i also bought a concert ticket for celeste but i already bought it like a month ago or something so i have three concerts this semester and i'm super excited about it yeah i kind of have a headache also i think it's from just the weather and the pressure i guess and maybe we could start a new movie marathon with my friend because we just finished twilight i also bought the books in english because i've been thinking about reading them for a long time but it scares me for some reason i don't know i think it's gonna be emotionally draining for, I, don't, I don't know so i'm waiting for them to come i bought them secondhand now i'm gonna go eat my food and watch go Margos, obviously best of everything i made sure you had the finest opportunity and i am so 
Well, I did it. I mean, what else can I do? I have to. Now, quick shower, quick breakfast, and school, yay! Yeah. Quick fit check. I don't know. I'm wearing a long denim skirt and a green top. No surprise, again, I'm the first. So I bought a vacuum cleaner, as you could see. I bought it like secondhand just for 12 euros because we only have like a broom in our apartment and it's really not enough to clean. I tested it out, it works. I had a long call with one of my friends. Now I'm going to pick up another package by Wet Wipes. And then there's also like a store where they have all the clothes for three euros today. So I'm gonna go check it out and look for some pants. Let's see what they have. I mean, it wouldn't be me if I didn't find something. Well, you know, there's no cure for this at this point. I'm just a secondhand thrifting freak, I guess. You know, they just gave me a flyer. They're doing the same thing as in Belgium where they go from five euros to two. And I mean, they have good stuff. I'm gonna show you later. I have to bring it home because I didn't grab a bag. And then I have to go back to pick up the package that I didn't pick up. Package secured. Okay, so I just unpacked the books and it was the cutest package that I've ever received, to be honest. I'm gonna insert a video because I was filming it vertically. First of all, on top, of the whole thing there was like this thank you note she also included stickers and then each of the books was like individually wrapped in this paper and then in one of the books where is it she also put these cute little origami thing i mean how freaking cute is this like this is insanity i was so shocked and surprised insane I love it and I'm so excited I have the whole collection now it's so much like I really want to read it now during fall so I think when I come back from somewhere that you're gonna see at the end of this vlog I think I'm gonna start I want to read it all before Christmas I don't know how I'm gonna keep carrying around this book I'm so excited it's so aesthetic oh my god I'm gonna put it on my shelf now where do I put it? I have too many books at this point. <laughs> you know, there's a lot more space. Look at this. I have books here. I have books here. I think it's gonna look good work. You know, it's a bit stuffed now, but what can you do? Oh my god, I have so many books. How am I gonna get it home? That's a problem for the fridge of Christina. We're gonna do a quick try and haul. I'm not gonna care about the combination of stuff. I'm just gonna wear them first. This basic gray hoodie. It has a zip, zipper. I got this bag. Originally 14 euros. Boom, boom. A wild card. I honestly like really love it. I'm gonna see how this works. I'm not sure. This t shirt that I bought, maybe it's kind of too much mixing. You know what? I kind of love it. Nice. Wait, let me try another top that I bought. I feel like this should work in theory because the colors literally match, but I don't know. Then I get this pair of pants. Oh my god, am I a corporate girl now? I mean, this, I have to say, I love it. Everything was three euros. I wasn't sure with these pants at first because I feel like, you know, the zipper here, it does like this weird thing. But they were like so nice, like flowy. The pockets, pink, bright pink. <laughs> you know, it makes such a difference. 
to kind of like style things sometimes. Last pair of pants. These are such like a comfy little loose thing. I love these. Like whether they're for home or going out and I can wear them with anything. Since I was complaining in the beginning about not having enough stuff here because I brought everything home, now I do. I guess I'll see you tomorrow because I really have to do stuff now. Another day, another run done. You know, it's crazy because literally in the morning it was so cold and now it's sunny and I'm warm again. The weather here is very tricky, let me tell you that. This is what I look like every morning now. <sighs> Sweaty, tired and done. Well, mm. I looked at the time and I was like, oh shit, I'm late, I have to go. I thought I have classes later today, I don't know. It was weird. I think I'll still make it on time. What? I still have 10 minutes. How am I here so fast? to have my yearbook picture taken. Sí. De hecho es el doble, son 180 y tienen una bandera así, desplegable. It's kind of insane, you know, because it means that my university time is coming to an end. I mean, we'll see about masters, but at least here, it's insane. This is my fourth year. Like, what the hell? And I made it! I made it! Literally, I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but there's literally stars in the sky still. See, here and here. That's insane. <laughs> Scary. I'm crazy, but I'm proud of myself. Can you see the stars? Oh my God. That's insanity. You know, it's kind of nice because no one's anywhere. It is scary, but I'm running under the lights and not far, not into like a park or a forest or anything. And then I'm gonna run on like the main street where the cars go. So I'm trying to be as careful as possible. <sighs> I'm all ready to go. You know, I've never traveled with such like few things. It's weird. <laughs> the first one to be out of the plane inside the building that's never ever happened before Ja, 
Well, I am home for a couple of days. It's very spontaneous and unexpected. I came home in the end for my dad's birthday. He doesn't know yet. I spent the day with my mom today and my sister saw me because they were at my mom's house. Well, two out of three. So the third one is going to know tomorrow after birthday party. It's been really nice to spend time with them, honestly. I was happy and am happy to see them. I had some great food so far, uh, which is always nice when you don't have to cook and when you're eating actually like really, you know, delicious food. And I'm just gonna go to sleep because I'm super tired. I'm proud of myself for waking up at 5.30 to still go and do the run and the exercise. And honestly, like today's flight and everything around that was super chill. I got to the airport really well. I wasn't stressed. It was the perfect timing with everything. But I know that if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have gone for a run here, I think. But tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up and go for a run around here. It's gonna be my dad's birthday party. I'm gonna see my best friend. I already have a bunch of plans for uh, my stay here. Today is Friday and I'm staying until Wednesday. So it's kind of a long time, honestly, but I already have most of the days filled <laughs> as always, but it's just like really nice things, I think. Anyways, good night. One more thing though, I love surprising people, especially in like this context of me studying abroad and then coming home because just the face of the person every time you see how they're like thinking about what's happening in that moment of the surprise. They're like kind of like processing it. I just, oh, I love it, but it's so funny because like it's not like you show yourself and the people are like instantly, you know, reacting. They're just like, and then they react. I'm excited to see how my dad reacts tomorrow because I think he really wanted me to come even though, you know, he's not this like very expressy guy or dad, but he mentioned it kind of like a lot of times. That's how I was like, okay, maybe he really wants me here because of the flights. I wasn't supposed to come because it was really expensive, but somehow he managed and I don't know. We just thought it was like really important because you know, you only celebrate 50 once in your life. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what just happened, but I looked back at the video and the whole thing is unfocused, but I'm not gonna refilm it. So please excuse me. I literally just spent like 20 minutes just trying on my clothes that I have here because I bought so much good stuff in Antwerp when I was in Belgium, but I obviously I couldn't bring it all to Spain. I prepared a pile. I think this, all of this I'm taking, and this is a maybe pile and I want to bring it back. I'm going to sleep now. Good morning! Am I in a zoo or something? Big check! We're going to my dad's birthday party now. We're gonna surprise him with me. I'm wearing pants with this beautiful top. My sister's also wearing pants with a shirt, kind of matching, you know. You can't see, but it has like that. So. <laughs> Let's go!
<laughs> I didn't vlog much yesterday because we were having fun at my dad's birthday party and today I went running with my sister I wasn't alone which was nice for a change how was it? how do you feel? Great. and we're gonna do the bring silly up and down workout I just am not going to vlog vlog sick I'm about to start Twilight! I kind of forgot to end the vlog yesterday it's already Monday so the full week vlog is done I have more than enough footage for sure I've done so much this week I also flew home I've had a really great time so thank you for watching you can like subscribe comment whatever you want if you want to be here for next videos and I'll see you later bye